Hey guys, I'm Jason here with Francis and Blair. Yo, hey. We are three guys with some serious issues talking about some not so serious issues. Now, today's topic is public nudity. Now, why don't you start us off, Blair? I'm sure you've got an opinion. Okay, so, <laughs> Boy. there was a big case in New Zealand two years ago. There was a guy who liked to go, go jogging naked. Um, oh. I don't know where it was. He'd flop around and stuff, but yeah, so he'd, he'd go jogging. I think he'd do it at like six in the morning or something so that he didn't come across people. He tried to be good about it. He was just a <laughs> naturalist. But he got a bunch of fines and he got taken to court. He eventually won his court cases to say that it wasn't so bad. But it sort of sparked interest in the whole public nudity thing. What's the law around public nudity then? Just as a base. That it is not allowed to be offensive. So he was actually trying to hide from from people, like not kind, purposely. Kind of. not like so he hiding. just enjoyed running naked and he was yeah. just finding a way to do it that wasn't... That, that people weren't going to see because yeah. it might offend people yeah. and then they'd be up for causing public offence yeah. something yeah, like yeah. that alright okay so I am pro public nudity so how did he get caught in the end uh, people saw him people saw yeah. him yeah. and called the police yeah. yeah so he got a couple of fines I think he got like a $250 fine a $350 fine um there's a bunch of dodgy stuff in it as well. Like his lawyer said to him, look, you can't win this case. Give up. Really? Yeah. Um, and uh, like he, he just liked running naked. Yeah. He wasn't a bad guy. He just wanted to run naked. Mm. Are there some places where you can do that where it's like legal? Maybe or? like actual nudist beaches or nudist compounds. But they're not big. Like I, I think he was running through the bush like a good couple of Ks. Who wants to just like jog in place or run around someone's backyard. <laughs> on a treadmill laid as naked. Yeah. That defeats it, the purpose. Where's the fun in that? You're not yeah. like out in nature. So one of the times, wasn't it like a woman that saw him? Was no, it? so I was talking about it at work and the the receptionist said that that it would be really creepy if he was just running towards a woman. Yeah, or like what if he tried yeah. to hide and you've already seen him and you know he's naked. <laughs> <laughs> so there's some naked guy just hiding behind some bush. <laughs> I mean, at six in the morning, that makes some, it a little creepy. some dude's <laughs> out running, clothed or not, a woman might feel uncomfortable. More likely to be uncomfortable if he's not clothed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. But I'm, I'm pro-public nudity. I don't see that public nudity is a bad thing at all. How about you, Jason? I think when done in the right place, it can be acceptable. Like in your backyard so no one can see you. That's acceptable. Dirty and disgusting. That's pretty much your position, isn't it, Jason? <laughs> You're not putting words in my mouth this time. <laughs> so, was, was that accurate? <laughs> no. I'm not going to admit to that. Okay. What, what will you admit to? I admit that generally, I'd suppose I'd be against public nudity in the general public environment. So, not walking down the main street? Definitely. So, what is the problem with someone walking down the main street nude? People shouldn't have to look at it if they want, don't want to. Yeah, but I shouldn't have to look at ugly people, but I do. <laughs> like, that's, that seems like the argument. Like, I don't want but, to look at that penis. Well, I don't want to look at that ugly face. So, yeah, but what's the problem? You don't have to look at an ugly face. Like, you can choose to look away, but it's, it's different if, it's, to a, look away from the if it's a naked body. It like, attracts the gaze. Yeah, it's not something you may <laughs> see. <laughs> Like, yeah. Uh, you can just look away. Just look the other direction. Not quite. <laughs> what if they're, like, the right behind you? And you know that there's a naked man behind you? You've had plenty of naked men behind <laughs> you. What do you care? <laughs> I find it uncomfortable when it happens. <laughs> no. I, I, don't, I don't see that that's a problem. Like, it, why is nudity a controlled substance? It's just conditioning. Part of, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah, conditioning, that's it. It's just a naked body. If you were naked right here, right now, it'd be weird. <laughs> yeah, it would be. It, it would be I'd feel weird. uncomfortable. A little uncomfortable. You would. Because you'd be winking at everybody. Yeah. And just going, wee! <laughs> <laughs> Helicopter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> but what, what if nude, public nudity was just normal? Then it wouldn't be that weird. That's I guess not, though, but yeah. it's not, that's not the case. But, yeah. So if public nudity was okay and just like naked joggers... Was a normal thing. It wouldn't be that weird. It's kind of like on a nudist beach. 
you know it's a nudist beach, so it's fine. People can go there, um, be naked. Unless you go there by accident. Yeah, I have. That has happened. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were like wearing white suits or something. <laughs> Skin suit. Yeah, I was like, oh, this is a mean beach because there was a little walkway to get there, and then I I was walking down and it was just three old guys turned around pretty quick. Oh. <laughs> And then I googled it and it was actually a nudist beach. Was there like a sign? No, there's no signs or anything. Where was that? Oh. Waiheke. Oh yeah, there's a few yeah. around there. Oh, it's there? Oh, okay. You have to tell me them so I can avoid them. The oh, far, end of Tangy beach. Yeah. far end of Only Tangy Beach, right? Ah, I think that's we should do a podcast field trip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on, I don't know. Wait for dad being noisy and shit. <laughs> we can edit this part Yeah, out. I know. <laughs> I always listen to podcasts and they're like oh, we'll, we'll edit that out and you go you hear all of it yeah wait for dad to go back in <laughs> I think we're good okay so where were we nude, nude beaches so there was I did find another case during my research of a guy who was hiking like the length of the UK nude and he'd been arrested a lot of times. He got arrested for leaving jail in, wearing only boots and a hat but then from what, his previous like, arrest. Yeah. That, that's kind of silly though. Like He's just being stubborn. Well, he he's hiking for his right to hike nude. Like Why is there a problem Ooh. with a man hiking nude? If it's illegal, then it's a problem. Well, it's not illegal. Isn't it? It's, no. it's, it's illegal with like sexual intent or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, it's the, the public offence. Yeah. So someone's like, oh no... There's too much skin on that person. I'm offended. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so in Oregon, apparently, according to Wikipedia, public nudity is defended as a First Amendment right. So the right to free speech and the right to be nude. So you can just go anywhere, do anything nude. Yep. So long as you, there is not intent to arouse. Yeah. I couldn't do it because I'm too arousing. <laughs> hey, how far does that right go? Like... <laughs> If you're on like some building sites, you'd have to wear PPE protective <laughs> yeah. safety gear. Like <laughs> you got protective safety gear. That's not PPE. Uh, like, no, so but that's some no like, protective equipment. You yeah. should know these things. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't, no I don't use equipment. them. <laughs> well, yeah, like on some sites, the the safety gear is long sleeve um, pants and the things that you wear on the top of you. What are they called? Hivers. Yeah, shirts. Yeah. Long, long sleeve pants and shirts oh, so, yeah. Okay. so yeah you would have to wear those like and it would be unsafe to cut the crotch out so don't do that no but the thing that is seems... that's just that, like just just showing your penis yeah, yeah no that's different to public that's, nudity that's also a, a safety thing you yeah if you're wearing be clothes because stuff. you're cold you can't just cut the crotch out of your pants <laughs> And be like, it's my right. Why not? <laughs> because it's, it's... It's weird. That's weird. That's because it's like, it's a sexual part of a person. Yeah. You know, so that's only showing that. And that's... I'd say that's intent to arouse. What only if, showing What if that. you just like the breeze? There's other avenues. I guess you could wear a kilt. Yeah. I wish kilts were, were acceptable. I'd love to wear a kilt. Okay. Well, you're arguing public nudity... Kilts are acceptable. Well, not really. But so is free balling it in pants. You yeah, don't have to wear undies. Yeah. Is it not the same? Is no, it, it's not the same. Not the same. It's more breeze. And, and the way I'm sitting like this, I could like <laughs> upskirt Francis all the time. Flash him. I'd, I'd love I to wear a complain. kilt. A kilt would be <laughs> awesome. But kilts don't have pockets. Plaid skirts have pockets. <laughs> so, to, so to all our listeners out there wearing kilts with pockets it's a plaid a skirt, skirt. <laughs> not judging you just don't call it a kilt yeah alright alright back on topic <laughs> back on topic okay why are you against this well where do you draw the line like uh, between offensiveness like so you're alone on a park bench some naked guy comes up to right sits right beside you like, they're entitled to do that, but it wouldn't... It'd be weird. Well, like, you might draw the line at them touching you. Then they're not allowed to touch you. But what if they keep staring at you with their naked body, and they're well, just sitting right beside you? A creepy person could sit down next to you clothed and stare at you. Yeah. It's still creepy. 
but it's worse because they're naked. The it creep is, factor does go up naked. a bit. If but naked. Is, is the nakedness a problem? What if they get a boner? Well, then that's, that's, that's different. even more again. creepy still, but... What if, what yeah, if it, what if what, you're just walking down the street and the dude had a boner? He wasn't intending to arouse... He got aroused, yeah. but he wasn't intending to arouse other people. Is that... NRBs happen. The thing is, that would, like, that would offend. Have you never seen a boner? I'm just saying, like, if, if a kid... If you haven't. If a kid saw that, you know, kids... Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah, I know, and then but, that's different like, again. It's, it's a normal human thing. Yeah. So it's, it's weird that it's not... It's it's weird that it is weird. Yeah. It's a it's an odd thing. Like you, Jason. Oh, oh you know. Oh. Odd, but. I think it does come back to that intent to arouse thing. I um, think that's where. But then it's like a subjective point again. Yeah. <clears throat> well. So it's hard to do anything. I'm just thinking of an, another case that it is definitely not okay. There's a, a YouTube guy. Even if I knew what his channel was, I wouldn't say it because he's a dick. <laughs> um, he'd just get naked in a park and someone would film him like running up to women. Like they're trying to sit on a bench and he's got his junk in their face and they're kind of trapped mm. in there. And he's like, hey, look at my penis. And he's swinging it around. That's, that's, not, that's not okay. Yeah. It's not just offensive. He's like, he's trapping, yeah. he's physically trapping them. Yeah. Um, and that's not okay. No, no, it's not. I think two dudes tackled him and gave him a smack on one of the videos. He deserved it. Yeah. Good. What, a spank? Or... <laughs> no. Is that what you do? <laughs> You're a naughty boy. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's clearly not okay. But if he no. was just like walking his dog nude, there's no problem in that. Depends Should, where it is. shouldn't be it a problem. It depends where it is. There shouldn't be a problem wherever it is. I don't think you should do it around a school. I did call the cops <laughs> on a guy walking nude near a school. Yeah. But that yeah. was because he was so drunk. Yeah. He had his pants around his ankles and he was shuffling along. And I called the police and they said, oh, so he's not on the road now. <laughs> like, no, he's not on the road, but he's still on the footpath. Yeah. Anyway. Well, they obviously weren't that worried about it. They didn't appear to be. So, Jason, do you have any arguments against... You're not, yeah, you're not really putting up any points. Yeah. It's not oh. putting up a fight. <laughs> okay, okay. So, <laughs> there could be... It could be unhygienic. Unhygienic? So, you're sitting, like, naked bottom on the same seats as other people who have had their naked bottoms on the seats. Asses are pretty clean. Like, toilet seats. Yeah, your, uh, your naked ass goes on a toilet seat. Yeah. And they're pretty clean. What, what if, like, some pe- sometimes people miss and stuff? They're still pretty clean. Like, you swab a toilet seat, they always come up as pretty clean the the thing that flushes the toilet those well, are always way dirty and in the seat they could be leaning on escalators they're pretty dirty aren't they and then yeah. they sit down it's like people's balls on the seats like they might it might yeah. be a good thing like the hygiene hypothesis suggests that people are sicker and have more autoimmune problems because they don't come in contact with enough germs we need more germs we need things to be more unhygienic so you can put up a fight. Yeah. In fact, I suggest that you lick that door handle to get your daily dose. I always see you washing your hands before lunch. Yeah, that's before I eat. Exactly. That's I work in disgusting places with it's... disgusting tradesmen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you want. More germs. What if that disgusting tradesman sat on a seat naked and then you sat on it? You mean like a toilet? No, just that like happens. a bench. Well, what's the difference between that and a toilet? A lot more contact. A lot more contact. There's more surface area <laughs> yeah. in contact. No, I don't. I don't really see that. That's a problem. Okay. In 2011, San Francisco banned naked dining because of hygiene fears. Fears. Wi- widely seen as the most tolerant city in America. Yeah, they they were afraid of the hygiene problem. But did they reasonable prove, fears? Did they prove in my, in my mind that there was a hygiene issue? Did you say reasonable offense? Reasonable fears. Fears. Yeah. But they haven't proved fears. Are you afraid of the tidal wave from the basin down there? Yes. It's entirely unreasonable. <laughs> it doesn't mean if it happened, I wouldn't be scared. <laughs> yeah. Hygiene fix. Okay, okay. I don't know if that... Yeah. Spread yeah. of crab lice. Crab lice. <laughs> That's... Okay, there should be a law that if you do have crabs or lice yeah, or shit like that, then you can't be You naked. can't do that. Yeah. It's just Well, like, if I had <laughs> lice, they, they'd probably spread to you. <laughs> 
What? Then, like, jump off my clothes. <laughs> We're not doing and that. onto your clothes, and then now you've got lice. They can't jump that far. They can if I get up real close. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> I get up real close. Stay away from me. Real close. <laughs> okay. Um... So, yeah, hygiene, shut down. <laughs> shut down, Jason. You can't prove it's safe. Oh. It kind of up, is up to me to prove it's safe. Yeah. Toilet seats are clean. That. I'm going to run kind of that known. as my evidence. Yeah. But my reference is it is known. Common knowledge. Okay, Common but knowledge. you're not, when you're sitting on a toilet seat, you're just sitting kind of around the edges because there's a hole in the middle. Yeah. Whereas a seat, like, you're spread across it. Yeah, more contact. We yeah. should get some agar plates and check. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big we'll plate. We'll sit naked on seats. <laughs> See who's got the take, dirtiest take ass. <laughs> oh, no. We, we could do that. Yeah. I don't have access to that I'm stuff pretty sure anymore. our hands and stuff would be dirtier though. Oh, yeah. Hands will be wet. Well, yeah. Well, what if your hands are dirtier, you touch a seat. What if you bum. scratch your bum? There's nothing stopping you from touching right in there, scratching it. Touching it right in there. No, you see people at the supermarket, they're pulling out their undies, Got touching their bum, scratching. Shape. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're going to be touching your bum more. <laughs> my, my... <laughs> it's not just bums as well. We, you know, there's, there's, there's the... Touching your balls. Yeah. Issue as well. Like, do you ever get yeah. itchy balls? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You'll be all over that. Yeah, but... What if someone has a little bit of, like, you know, a little bit of leakage? What if he sits you, on yeah. a seat? Like, a, both front and back leakage. Mm. You know, sits on a seat. There's nothing containing that. No. No, there isn't. And then that's a lot dirtier than what yeah. is generally yeah, on your hands. A little bit dirtier. Well, pe- people are disgusting. Yeah, Their are. hands are really dirty. But and answer they, the point. They touch, they touch the seat. It's dirty now. I don't see that it's that big of a deal. Well, what if you well, just... So maybe, like, maybe we should do a study. We should find a city and force that city to be nude for a month. We'll test it before and after and see if it's a dirtier city. I think there'll be ethical issues with oh, that. You can't actually, force people I, I think to... <laughs> a lot of places in Europe are quite nude. Like Not in the city, okay. though. I don't think mm. in the cities. I know out on beaches, like pretty, like in Spain and shit, everybody's yeah. pretty yeah. much naked. Beaches are fine. No issues there. No issues. So, so hot chick's getting a tan, your sweet ass with. So, yeah. Yeah, right. so I, ugly I think people, hygiene, like, <laughs> hygiene's pretty low down on What like, if you're in a supermarket and issues. you knock into like a shelf with your penis and your penis touches like a Off box. the crust of food and stuff. Yeah, like you, you're, the apples are the same height think, as your balls. Yeah. I think if you're leaning over to reach yeah. something in your balls, are going to be way cleaner than hands. Uh, I don't know. It's just we 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 just consider them dirtier. Yeah, because they're, we they're excrete not, from them. Yeah, they're not actually dirtier, and urine isn't exactly sterile, but it's pretty clean. <laughs> Bless you. Yeah. Pretty clean. Yeah, man. urine has very little bacteria in it. Way less than on my hands, especially now that they're all wet. <laughs> <laughs> that sneeze jam. I did actually hear that they used to wipe down science tables of urine like real, like a long time ago. Really? I don't oh. know. If, I don't know if it's true, but I'm sure it was a science teacher that told me that. Seems a bit weird. I have not heard of that. Mm. Like a long, long time ago. Because why were clothes initially brought in just for heat and stuff like that? Probably heat, like a little bit of protection in Europe, <clears throat> protection from the sun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you're not against clothes. I'm not, you're I'm just not saying, against clothes. Not you're just like saying, saying... We should ban clothes yeah. in public. You're just saying public nudity shouldn't, yeah, shouldn't be frowned upon. People want to be nude, that's okay. Yeah. What about someone fully clothed because it's cold, but they've cut out, cut out their crotch? What's the problem? That's up to them. Yeah, no, just, but it just seems like it's just like a pride thing. They have to have their penis well, showing. If they, they want to breeze. It's cold. I'd, I'd like but then again, just showing a penis, I don't think that's okay. I, I think that's... I know a guy who um, paintballs in the snow with a kilt. Mm, okay. And they'd, they'd be really cold. You don't wear underwear under a kilt. Doesn't seem to have a problem. You've got to think for kilts, don't you? I'd love to wear a kilt. <laughs> I'm not stopping you. You guys should buy me a kilt for my birthday. No. I'll get you a... Was it a plaid? A plaid skirt. A plaid skirt. <laughs> I'd wear that. <laughs> it's got pockets. I get like what? a mini skirt. <laughs> <laughs> a little schoolgirl out from there. Yeah. Out from oh. there. We should <laughs> with the like knee high socks. 
No, no, no. <laughs> okay, okay. Say you're a bus driver <laughs> driving school children. It's naked. Like, you're all naked because public nudity is just standard. And you're, like, looking at the footpath as a hot chick. You get a boner. And then the school, like, you stop, and then all the kids hop and off and just stand there with a crazy erection. I don't is think, because if, if public nudity is a normal thing, I don't think him having a boner will be seen as weird. Next yeah. to the children. Do you know it's illegal to show an image of a erect penis in a classroom? Really? Yeah. Think back to sex. Uh, why, ed. why is Did that? Did you ever see an erect penis? Conditioning. I'm sure I saw a video of like a penis cam having sex like from inside the vagina. Yeah, that wasn't an erect penis. They it must have been. It's not a penis cam. <laughs> it's, a dil- it's a dildo with a camera. In it. Oh, was yeah. it? <laughs> yeah. It's a helmet cam. cam, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you try yeah. like, to strap your GoPro on. <laughs> Yeah, it wouldn't have been a GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> you got a uh, Contour HD. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. How big are those? Mm, pretty big. About that big. Jesus. Do you strap it on top? Like, You'd have to, like it, it, a, I'd use it as an extension, a probably. A gun mount cam. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, no. Oh, you legitimately thought it was attached to a penis. Okay. <laughs> well, I didn't, I didn't show it itself for that long. Like, I'm not like I'm not watching it for ten minutes or anything. Yeah. You're missing out. Yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, I got a copy of that one. <laughs> I'm actually I'm all good with streakers. Like you're a, all good with streakers. Yeah. See, I streakers are an issue because you're not allowed to run onto the pitch during the game. Yeah, that's no. just uh, like people can't. Nude or otherwise. It's set, that rule set so that everyone doesn't do it, but you know, the odd person that does it, like the crowd loves it, as long as it's not done like disrupting the sports game, I don't really have an issue with it. Yeah, but if you made it okay, then everybody. No, no, it's it. not okay. They should still be like arrested and stuff, and then yeah. possibly charged if they like oh, but whatever. You, but you just think it's funny. Yeah, it, like don't like throw the book at them, just like, you know, $250 fine or something. Like it's all good. Not everyone's gonna do it. Yeah. The, crowd, the crowd loves so it. So long like, as the it's a big enough fine that not lots of people are going to do it. Yeah. Well, it seems to be fine now. You might see one a game. Yeah. I got no issues there. I'm going to sit just like this when I get my kilt. We're not getting you a kilt. <laughs> It'll be a real short one. It'll come up to here. It's going to be so short. It has to be real, real short so that Blair's penis pokes out the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> like a real... <laughs> <laughs> just a belt. <laughs> a, a plaid belt. <laughs> <laughs> so does does Jason have any more feeble ar- arguments and like oh no, yeah I have heaps of feeble so arguments it's, it's actually I was searching the internet and like these are the general arguments spread of germs spread of crab lice ugly fat and old people unappealing <laughs> <laughs> that's not an argument <laughs> Do the, do the police have like a, <laughs> you You must be a six or above. It's <laughs> yeah. a bit subjective. So the police officers are in the car. They're like, yeah, she's a five. We're going to have to find yeah. her. And the other yeah. guy's like, really? I, I like redheads. Yeah. I, to me, she's a six. <laughs> oh, like, and like, what if one of them's a sort of chubby chaser? Yeah. As well. Like. Okay. And <laughs> guys may not be able to prevent an erection. Yeah, see, if, if nudity was okay, it wouldn't be an Then issue. it wouldn't you be an issue. Reckon? Because there would no. be... It'd be rampant. But because it isn't okay, it is an issue now. Because how like, do nudist colonies go about that? There's a nudist colony in um, Ramarama. To so go ask them. The like the Ramarama Sun Sun Club or something. Yeah. So I think a lot of nudist colonies have like no singles rules, and stuff like that, so that they yeah. can keep it like a kind of family friendly environment. No singles. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. They they just don't want creepy dudes there, basically. Just looking at people, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean that's that's a normal thing. Like your club doesn't want weirdos, clothed or unclothed. Whatever. Just because they're you single have, doesn't mean you don't weird. want some weirdos. Well, yeah. What if a single guy just wants to associate oh, with that kind of thing? That might be okay. Like you you could make the claim that like, hey, I just like playing nude tennis, and I don't have a partner that likes to play nude tennis with me. They might give you a trial membership, and if you're not a weirdo, then you can stay. Yeah. I don't know. That's my guess. Yeah, I'm not yeah. part of a nudist colony. Yet. Yet. I'd you might get a few invites after this. Baby, baby <laughs> steps. I yeah. get a kilt. Yeah. No, a mini skirt. Mini, mini skirt. Mini, mini skirt. <laughs> I just don't see the appeal to be nude in the street. Like, 
You don't have to. No, no, but why do people want to do it? Well, they might want to. Yeah, it's just... But then... Everybody's different. Other people want to, like, work out and work hard, and you don't seem to want to do those things. (laughs) (laughs) But, like, a majority of people, I think, if you ask them in, like, say, a city, they don't don't want everyone, or, like, some people to be naked and wandering around the city. They'd say, no, everyone just has to be clothes. Just like. infringing on their rights to be nude. But they don't have to be in that city. They could body. go to a beach. Like, there is places for them. Not everyone's near a beach. You know, yeah. we're, not talking, we're not just talking about New Zealand. There's somewhere yeah. you, could, you could go in their backyard. It's, it's fine. Like, you could, there's somewhere you could go. Get your fix. Yeah, it's like you my, have... But my it's my like, backyard's really small. It's I don't like want to, like, run back and forth in my backyard. No, it's like the people that do it, they have to be seen. It's like, that's their thing. To, no, no, but it seems like that's what they want. The guy in New Zealand made... He was yeah, really was trying hard to, not to be seen. But he'd been caught multiple times. He's not he, doing a good what's job. What's he meant to do? Like run at three in the morning in the dark? It's dangerous. Yeah. Nah. He could have been in his backyard doing laps. My backyard what if is you lived like in an apartment? 15 meters long. They could and they're just going to like run back and forth. Do like a hundred back and forth. I'm like, yeah, I've done two Ks. Why do you yeah, have I don't to, think nudity should be, be frowned upon as much as it is. I love the breeze. Yeah. Uh, I love things flopping around. It's nice. I enjoy it. Alright. I think nudity is frowned upon a bit much, too much. Yeah. So, I, I got a quote a down, for... and I was hoping that Jason was going to say that he was offended, so that I could use my quote. Um, it's now very common to hear people say, I'm rather, offend- I'm rather offended by that. As if it gives them certain rights. It's no more than a whine. Jason, looking at you. It has no meaning. It has no purpose. It has no reason to be respected as a phrase. Nor do you, as a person. Jason. <laughs> <laughs> I'm offended by that. Well, so fucking what? Yeah. Said Stephen Fry. Yeah. I like the extras you put in there. Shaming me. No, Jason. Stephen Fry said all those things yeah. about you, Jason. Yeah. It doesn't surprise me. I, I wanted a chance to use that. <laughs> Well, you have to draw the line somewhere between offensive and just not offensive. Like, like you said, again, you offensive can't... is a subjective. <clears throat> exactly, yeah, like you can't go up to someone and helicopter them like that guy you said. Like... Well, I think the bigger issue is he was like he was trapping them. Yeah, and forcing but... the forcing him forcing it upon them. Yeah, but like maybe I can't stand even in my front yard and make offensive gestures at people crossing the street. It's like pull the finger at them like, hey, hey, fuck you. And even if nudity was a problem, maybe, maybe I'm not allowed to like yell at people across the street. I'm like, hey, check out my helicopter. Someone asked, I remember them. someone saying you can get done for public nudity or indecent exposure or something like that. If you're in like, say, your front room naked and people on the street can see and, and see you. Yeah, because you, if you've got the curtains open and they can see you, you don't have... Uh, I forget the term. It's like expected privacy. Oh, you, yeah. there's no reasonable expectation of privacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like if you pull the curtains and there's like a little crack and someone sneaks up and looks in. Yeah, then it's... That's not okay. No. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I've been doing that. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. I'll leave it open for you. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That's good. I don't think your points held up oh, very well. No. So, are we all in agreement that public nudity is okay? I still... I, I thought it was fine to say I still think really. it's okay, <laughs> but every place is dependent on... Should, should we do the cultural. next, next um, podcast nude? No. Okay, you don't have to be nude. Do you want to be nude, Francis? I quite enjoy being nude. But so. you'd want to be here with three of us nude in the podcast? I wouldn't say want. So then, well, <laughs> then why, why do it? <laughs> If you're not going to enjoy we it. We have the option to we'll, do it. We'll leave it on the table as an option. Yeah, it's an option. I may or may not be here, depending on how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you think you're better than us, Jason? No. I bet you do, don't you? No, I just think it'd be weird, three guys sitting in a bedroom. <laughs> yeah, that, that is weird. Sitting Let- around a bed. <laughs> Naked. 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 With a black light. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get a black light for next time. <laughs> All right. We'll post some photos on our Facebook page. Like us on Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> Subscribe search, search, to us search on for us. YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> you, you'll find us somewhere. Yeah. Don't don't get stalkery, dog. No. On that note.
So, cheers, guys. See ya. See ya.